on your YouTube channel, you can uh, post videos, put the videos in playlists, and make what are called community posts. Of the different types of community posts, the most common is something like this, which I put up about a month ago. Let's see if I find the actual date. No, I don't want that. Well, anyway, uh, the NFL's greatest quarterback who called his own plays is which one of these four? Sid Luckman, Terry Bradshaw, John Unitas, Joe Namath. And then I posted a comment. Instead of Sid Luckman, I almost wrote Bart Starr. So, I'm going to talk about these quarterbacks just a little. And then I may do another post talking about them more. Um, Sid Luckman. Now, I'm old enough that... Uh, Sid Luckman was considered the all-time greatest NFL quarterback. Uh, he was the first NFL T-formation quarterback. Uh, he called his own plays. And um, he was a creation of uh, George Hallis and Clark Shaughnessy. Uh, but he was a great, great quarterback. Very successful. Uh, let's see. That's not what I wanted. Here we are. Highest touchdown percentage in a in NFL season. Minimum 100 attempts. Sid Luckman. Had 202 attempts in 1943. 13.9% of them resulted in touchdowns. 13.9%. They only played a 10-game season then. Uh, a little over 2,000 yards. Averaged almost 11 yards pass. Over 200 yards a game. 28 touchdowns. 12 interceptions. Huh. Astonishing. This is from Wikipedia, which means it may not be entirely accurate, but I looked this up earlier, and this, I think, is pretty correct. Uh, 1943, the year we were just looking at, um, that 13.9% touchdown. That's the all-time record, still to this day. Um, during one game that year, Luckman threw for 443 yards and seven touchdowns. Now, that's still the record for a game, seven, NFL game, seven touchdowns in one game, and it was the first 400-yard passing game in NFL history. Now, he could run, he could pass. Uh, you know, he was just a perennial all-pro. I think he won three championships. Oh, no, four. It's right here. Yeah, he won four NFL championships. Only played a few years. And, um, uh, you know... <laughs> There's just no doubt he was one of the all-time great quarterbacks. Terry Bradshaw. Now, Bradshaw is a controversial figure. Uh, but he, in the 1970s, took Pittsburgh Steelers to four Super Bowls. They won all four, and he called his own plays. He called his own plays during those seasons, and he called his own plays in the Super Bowl. 
So he took his team to four Super Bowl victories. So like Luckman, he won four NFL championships. Unitas. Ha! Huh. He has 100% of the votes. He has 10 votes. All 10 are for Unitas as the NFL's greatest quarterback who called his own plays. Yeah, we're going to step back to you nice in just a second. Joe Namath. Um, he usually called his own plays during the season. But in Super Bowl three, I think except for Snell's touchdown, he called all the plays at the line of scrimmage. He might call a formation in the huddle. They usually huddle. But he'd say play at the line. He wanted to see what the Colts' defense was doing. That's what a top quarterback does, and Namath was a top quarterback. So people have some weak-minded notions that he wasn't. Well, he did win a Super Bowl, and they were a perennial contender uh, during at least his first six, seven years, from 65 to 72. One of the greatest games of all time was a regular season game between Unitas and Amoth. Anyway, um, and I mentioned uh, the comment, Bart Starr. Uh, Bart Starr also was a great quarterback and a great man. Uh, Starr said many times, you know, Lombardi made him a quarterback. He was just kind of throwing the ball for no reason necessarily. He taught him how to be a quarterback. Became a pro quarterback and led the uh, Packers to six championship games, winning five of them. So, uh, Luckman won four. Bradshaw won four. Star won five, Namath won one, Unitas, well, uh, he took his team to the 58-59 championship games, they won, took his team to the 64 NFL championship game where they lost, uh, was back up to Earl Morrill in 68, won the NFL championship and lost the Super Bowl three, uh, and then in 1970, they won the NFC champion or sorry AFC championship, and won the Super Bowl Super Bowl five. He called his own plays, even when the coach sent in a play, or told him not to call a play. He always called his own plays. He got yelled at a lot. Everybody said <laughs> the team was always on John United's side. I would be on John United's side. And I, like I said, when I was young, Sid Luckman, he was considered the greatest quarterback. As I grew a little older and learned a little more, uh, there were three. There was Norm Van Brocklin. There was Otto Graham, and there was John Unitas. And it was three, Van Brocklin, two, Graham, number one, John Unitas. If you had a game, whatever reason, the signals don't work in the helmet, whatever reason, you had to have a quarterback call his own plays. <laughs> Uh, if I could resurrect John Unitas, he'd still be the guy I'd put in the game. And those I've just mentioned, uh, Luckman, Bradshaw, Unitas, Namath, Starr, Graham, and Van Brocklin are still who I'd put in. Van Brocklin, if you don't know, he won the NFL championship, beating Starr and Lombardi in 1960, and was immediately offered head coaching jobs of two different teams. 
he started uh, coaching the uh, Minnesota Vikings. Yeah, there's complaints about Van Brocklin because of his uh, language, but he was a great quarterback, no doubt about it. Was in combat in World War II. Um, tough man, and uh, yeah, Van Brocklin. I might do a separate video just of Van Brocklin. But I agree completely. I can't argue with Unitas being number one. If you had to have a quarterback who calls his own plays, he knew the game, knew the game plan, well prepared as any quarterback who ever played.